Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'll be changing a battery of a Kindle with the keyboard. So this is the older version and we're just going to replace the battery. So if your battery is showing empty and you're trying to charge it and nothing's happening and you can press the button and, and there's no light even if it's on charge and it's running low then let's begin and change the battery. So let's just uh, open it. So this is the Kindle that I'm opening right now. Um, this one has also got no battery. And basically what we need to do is if you go around with one of these sharp objects around and it will then, you just need to raise the cover slightly once it goes in and then you pierce your finger around and it will just open up. So let's see, this one's a bit stuck at the moment, so if we just take our finger around, you can hear it unclicking, and nothing to worry about because the plastic is quite strong. It's not going to snap anything or break anything. Ideally, you want to put this um, prick around here on, this, on the edge, not in between because there's a ribbon cable going on the side, so if you put it here in, in the side here, it might break the ribbon cable. So Try to always use the edges um, or, or the bottom bit to actually uh, disengage the cover. So here we go, this is like this one here. This is kind of, there we go, that's it. Here we go, that's open. So that's, you can see that the battery, let me show you, yeah, that's, that's kind of, yeah. So if we can see here, it's it's all a bit fluffy right now. So we need to replace this. is the easiest easiest battery I'll ever replace. So we just open these two screws. That's one screw gone, and that's two screws. Remember not to tip it once the um, battery's taken out because it's got two washers in it. So once we replace this, take it out. So you've got these two silver washers in there, these two. So let me show focus on this. See them? So these two washers can come off if you try to tip it. You can see that here it comes off. Here you go. So that, that's the washer. So you want to keep them in place. And we're just going to replace this battery. It's gone. You can see it's all bloated right now. So the battery is the voltage is all made in China anyway. So it says it's right in made in China. So if you had the next battery, you're going to buy it from China anyway. So the main thing we're looking at is the uh, milliamps and the voltage, which is 3.7 volts and 1750 milliamps. So that's it. And we're going to replace it with this one. So that's also made in China and it's the um, 3.7 volts and 1750 milliamps so we're just going to replace light for light so the batteries are let me just quickly zoom out slightly so you can see here we go yeah so the light for light batteries no different at all in terms of what they what they do size and everything it's just that amazon got them made for them so it's got their name on it apart from that's the same and we just have to slide it in with the two notches at the bottom so if we just slide that in there, like that, bring it down, and one screw goes in there, another screw goes in there, I can already see a green light, which you can probably see as well, that's come on right now, which is a good sign, and if we turn it over, there's a green green light that's turned on, because it was dead before. And here we are, here we go, it's all working now, there we are, it's loading right now. And as you can see, I haven't even put the lid on, it's just turned on, so that's fine. It's booting up after a while now because this wasn't used for a long time, because the battery had... Um, gone oh. I'm hoping the battery's still there 
Yeah, there we go. It turned off by itself, I think. Maybe the battery is quite weak. Oh no, it is loading. It is one of the older ones, so it does take a while to load. Hey, there we are. It's all working now, so we can actually click on home. Click on menu. It's loading. And here we are. All the books and everything is now showing on the menu. And there we are. So, yeah, anyway. So if this, I kind of like this for the problem. Now you know that replacing a battery would be a good way to fix it rather than basically oh and one more thing I forgot to mention see that when we close this try to put this piece the bottom bit first because I noticed that that's where the um, the notches are so if we click them first otherwise they don't seem to go in to try yeah here we go to put the bottom in, put the bottom first where the buttons are put them put this side in first and then work your way up start pressing it through with your finger and eventually you hear all these crunching noises and that's pretty much it there's not really a great deal to worry about once this is all in yep so that's all smoothly closed from every direction and now I can use the Kindle with the books I need to read. Here we go, Midnight Summons. We can easily now go from page to page to page to page. And we go to the menu, right, last index as well. There we go. So this is actually now a working Kindle. So next time if you have a problem with a Kindle, just replace the battery and it should be working. Oh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.